Welcome back aliens, my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. In the earlier video we have talked about arrays, then we have talked about some methods of arrays, right? We have seen filter map reduce that works well. Now when it comes to arrays, you can have a collection of values and every value will have an index number. Right, in this case we this one will have index number zero, uh, two will have index number one and this goes on, right? And then arrow also supports duplicate values. Maybe if you have, let's say, instead of five, let's say we have three. So array does support duplicate values. Now, one of the data structure we have is called a set. Now, set is very famous in other languages. In JavaScript, it was introduced as a class in ES6. So now we can use set, which will have only unique values. So if you want to differentiate between set and uh, array, set will have, set is a collection, but then all the values will be unique. Next, set normally is an unordered list, which means if you, uh, so it will not maintain the sequence in which you have added the elements, but in JavaScript, it maintains the order. But again, it is unique and it will not have an index value. So the way you can use index value to fetch the value from the array, you can't do that with set. So let's see what exactly set looks like. So basically set is a class, right? So we have to use the constructor to create the object. So will you say, maybe you can have a set of values, again we'll say nums, but this nums this time is not a normal array, it's a set. How do we create a set? Now since it's a class, we can say new set. Okay, that's how we create an object of a class, new, and then the class name and the curly brackets. This is basically called a constructor, but we'll discuss that later. Okay, now once you got a set with you, you can assign values here. In fact, you can pass the value in the bracket itself. What I will do is I will take a string, okay? So maybe a string like bookkeeper, so you can see we got a set and then we are having this array basically. This is a string and internally this string will convert it into our individual values. So basically we got a set of characters and now let's print this characters and let's see what happens. Uh, so in the comment section, write the answer. What, you, what is your guess? If you try to print nums, I don't know, it's not num anymore, it is a string. But anyway, if you try to print this nums, what will be the value? So I hope you answered and let's see the answer. And you can see we got a set of six values. Oh, why six? It's one, two, three, four, four, eight, two, ten. So total ten characters are there in this string which we mentioned, bookkeeper, but it is saving only six, which is B-O-K-E-P-R. That looks good. The only thing is, you can see as I mentioned before, in set you will not have repeated values. That is what is happening here. We don't have repeated values. We have values only once. That's how set works. Okay, now if you don't want to assign the values here, we can also assign values later. Maybe I want to assign some values. We'll say uh, nums dot. How do we add a value? With the help of add method. We'll say add, and then we can pass a particular value which you want to save. Maybe two, three, uh, three, let's say three, and I can just copy paste this multiple times. And let's have different values. I will say three, four. Okay, let me th repeat that three, and let's see what happens. And here, let me insert my name just to check if you can have different type of data. I will say Naveen, Kiran and Chirag. So we got these values and let's see if that works. We can just run this. Okay, when I print this nums, you can see it is printing three, four, that's right. It is not printing three again because it is repeated value. Then we got Naveen, Kiran and Chirag, that works. So basically this statement here has no effect on the set. Okay, there's nothing is happening here. But the question is, how will you print these values? How will you print all these values here? Uh, okay, now for that, what we need to do is we need to use a loop. We can use a off loop for off loop. In fact, you try that. So in the comment section, write the answer. How do we iterate in the set with the help of for off? It will be helpful for those who don't know how to do that, right? So we'll use a for each loop here. So we'll say num start for each, the same thing we have done for the arrays. Now you tell me, what I should mention here. Uh, should I mention only one value? Let's try that with only one value. And let's see if that works. So basically in this, it will accept a value. Maybe I can say, let's say value. And this value will be printed, right? So let me open the curly brackets close and we'll say log, let me print the value. And let's see if that works. Let me just clear the screen. And yeah, you can see that it is working. This is how you can iterate on a set. So this is one way. Uh, the another way of doing this, what if you want to pass three values, the way we have done in arrays. 
uh, we have to pass a value, we have to pass an index value, and then we have to pass the array itself. Now here, the problem is we don't have index values, right? Example, if I try to print value, and I have to pass the index value, for that what we can do is we can, we don't have index value. So we can say value one. Again, we'll discuss what this value one is, and let me pass the num as it is. And you can print value one, you can print num, so you can try that. But the question is, what is this value one here? We don't have index values in set, right? Uh, so the answer is, when you say value 1 here, it is a repeated value. This value, this value, they are two, they, these are the same values. Since we don't have index values, this is your repeated values, just to maintain that uniformity between arrays and set. But logically, only one value works, so we'll go with that. Okay, uh, in fact, in set, we can do one more thing. Instead of printing all the values, let me print one value. Uh, and I just want to check if that particular value is there in this set. Let's say I want to search for 2. Do we have 2 in this set? So what we can do is we can say nums dot has. There's a method called has in which you have to pass the value. So I will first check for three because three is there. It should print true, and that's why it is printing true. Uh, but what if I print or uh, pass two? In this case, you can say it says false. But if I pass a name like Naveen, uh, it should be there. It is there. If I change with n small n, now this is a case sensitive as a string because string is case sensitive, uh, and you can say we got false. So yeah, that's how you work with set. Now in the next video, we'll talk about map. So I hope you got some idea about set where set is a collection of values, but the only thing is it will have unique values. It is ordered in JavaScript, not in other languages, and it doesn't have the index values. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for the videos. Bye.